Hickok 45 here. We're going to run the old Glock 29 through its paces again. As you know, in my uh, Chapter 2 videos, we do more shooting and less talking. So that's what I'm going to try to do today. You know the Glock 29 is the small version of the uh, 10 millimeter. You've got the Glock 20, the full size, and then you have the Glock 29, which is comparable to the Glock 30 in exactly the same size. So it's a lot of power and a little package. If you have one of these, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, the first video, I didn't do all that great with my shooting. Uh, I think I did it back in the spring. Maybe I'll shoot a little better today. Uh, normally, I don't have any trouble with this gun. Don't shoot it all that much, but it feels great, just like the Glock 30. So, got uh, supply ammo. I got four mags. Uh, these are actually Glock 20 mags. Got three or four Glock 29 mags. I happen to like the flush mags with this and the 30. I don't use the extensions. You know me. I, I like a flush mag on my small Glocks. So, uh, we'll just see what happens here. All right. So, hang with us and let's sling some lead. we want to shoot first. Let's shoot some of these jugs. Slow down. <laughs> ah, feels good, feels good. Last round. Let's get some more ammo. Okay. Now one of the things I generally do, and I get a lot of questions about it, is I carry the longer mags for my uh, backup. You know, uh, I love and prefer, as you know, the, the flush magazines, but uh, only for my first mag generally. Or, you know, I, if I'm going to reload, I enjoy having something I can really get my hands on and. You know, this is just much better. When I worked with the, uh, as a reserve deputy with the sheriff's department here in the county, uh, I always, uh, I carried a smaller Glock of some sort and I always carried long magazines as backup. So it just makes sense, it just makes sense. So let's put a short mag in and let's go across the hill, do a little hunting. A little more hunting.
bullets. <sighs> that big ram. He's just laughing at me. Two with one shot. Let's go for 80 yards. Let's see, what do I have in the worry of ammo here? Got a little bit left. Got basically two mags left. Let's go back to the holster. Woo! All right, how about right here close on this paper? Let's move down a little closer. Occasionally we move down here closer to these targets just to, we don't get too close because they are steel. Just throw a more realism here. That's how easy it is to miss. You think you're right up on a target, all you gotta do is pull it out and boom, 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 boom. Yep. Doesn't matter how much you shoot, you gotta see that front sight. Got to see the front sight. You got a hard kicking little gun here, and it's especially important to make sure you're focused. Let's try that again. better I saw the front side on every shot you got to do that can't forget that front side <laughs> well anyway that's a that's a fair amount of shooting a lot of bullets went down range from the old Glock 29 by the way this is a special gun to me don't shoot it a lot I like it. it uh, it's a gun I won in a GSSF match, uh, winning subcompact. I think I mentioned in my other video. So this is one I'll never trade or sell. It's a trophy gun. Uh, a lot of power, fun to shoot. Uh, what can you say? 10 millimeter. <laughs>